This is Cat Mac 316 again. We're going to do the review of the View Cyrus H40 excavator. As you can already tell by one of the odd things, View Cyrus was the only one that actually put the cab on the other side. It actually was helping on visibility to load trucks, which was a nice feature back then. Uh, too bad they don't make hydraulic excavators anymore. They're along with cable and mining. Since they're part cat now, cat basically owns the rights, so hopefully things will stay the same or get better. Um, it's, this is made by MDG years ago. So you can tell. Cap is plain and boring, no detail whatsoever. Detail is very minimal on this. Uh, it's got the rubber tracks. They made a version with a green bucket and a red bucket which I have the red, which is more rare than the green. But the tracks, but the metal track one is definitely more rare. I'm trying to find that. That goes for like $250. Got this for $100 down at the CA show. Um, this is the height. Hmm. Not really much to really look at for. Uh, the hydraulics are very tight. Did do a good job with the hydraulics and making them tight. Uh, pretty much, it's this model is got to be the iron model. Not really much much to it, but it's, it's a nice model to own. It is actually worth some money and stuff. Uh, pretty much, this model is a six, I say, because of lack of detail. This is not etched out, it's just a uh, sticker and stuff. If they had more detail, like cabin detail, and so on and so forth, it would be nice, but this is the only etched out grow right there. The door should open, but they don't. NZG old models, yeah, they're good, but they're not the greatest. Their newer style stuff is way better, more detail and ca cabin detail and stuff. Um, if you want me to use this in a dial, an old time dial or something, or you want to know more on where to find them um, and whatnot, uh, just, you know how to reach me. And pretty much, as you can tell, the tracks are hard, which is nice, but you want some movement.